Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Semi-Perfect Podcast on the September 5th, 2018, the first official Semi-Perfect Podcast that we are live streaming on YouTube. Whoa! Sarah has been working tirelessly the last, like, week, (laughs) trying to make sure that I didn't somehow screw this up, and here we are. And we didn't screw it up. We're here. So far. Knock on wood. Which you hear there, we have plenty of. (laughs) Yep. Uh. Well, to welcome the fine folks of this podcast in, joining us here tonight, we have Toodles. Hello. We got Laura. (laughs) Hey. We got Saber Spark. Hi. We got Hiro Sashi. Hello, hello, hello. We got Paleo Sterno. Hello. <laughs> and I think I think that's everyone, but yeah. Sarah's not on the thing, so Sorry. I don't know how to look. That's everyone. That's everyone. That's everyone. I, I heard a little dingling, so I thought it was someone <laughs> coming in. You heard a dingling? <laughs> yes, I did. Gross, Sarah. <laughs> yeah. That's a little TMI. You're on laughing at what somebody said in the chat about your, your OC. <laughs> mm-hmm. What about Heroes OC? (laughs) (laughs) Whose cancerous OC is that in the center, says Eric Johnson. (laughs) What are you talking about, guys? I want to judge your OC. I'm going to find you. I want to see the OC the other time. But all OC. (laughs) Are we we sure they're not talking about sabers? (laughs) (laughs) How dare you. (laughs) <laughs> well, what do you say we do uh, food posts? This is a tradition here on the Semi Perfect Podcast because Saber and I love food, damn it. So, yeah. so tweet SPP using the hashtag SPP Foods. This is the last time. Yes. Um, I wanted to go over these from yesterday. Oh, these are from yesterday. Yeah, these are from yesterday. We did a we did, a, we did a, stream. a yeah a test stream yesterday, and we had some people submit food posts for it. Um, which is good. We needed to test this out. Railroad Brony says, I got a frozen dinner currently with lemonade. Gonna sit in on it, on it for, for 108 minutes till it defrosts. Oh, it's frozen. That's a really spe- specific amount of time. I mean, I well, maybe, for frozen pizza. maybe it's gotten it down to a science. It's, it's, it's macaroni. It takes approximately 108 minutes for the butt to thaw out now, now, there's more than one Railroad Brony, to my knowledge. Um, but uh, we'll be having a story about Railroad Bronies a little bit later on. Yes. Uh, Nora Mermaid posted yesterday saying, Homemade chicken for an early debut on YouTube. Also, I'm a mess, says Nora. <laughs> That's okay, because you have chicken. Uh, and then 24 hours ago, Railroad Brony says, TV dinner was a bad idea. I'm getting pizza instead. Has the lemonade. And is eating the semi perfect podcast in yeah, the he, oven. Like photoshopped a picture of the semi perfect podcast on top of the pizza. <laughs> man. Beautiful. Man, oh man, oh man. Uh, 41 minutes ago, drummer shy. See, now we're on the current ones. My FUD had Doritos and Diet Pepsi. Mm-hmm. Does, so, I got a question for everyone. Like, Coke or Pepsi versus Diet Coke or Pepsi? What? RC Cola. Neither. Like, like, the like the diet colas. colas. Like, what are your thoughts? Soda in general just really isn't that great. No, that- I don't drink, drink soda unless I mix it with alcohol. So you know, take that. <laughs> ginger ale, like the all-time champion. Of That's soda. true. I'll drink ginger, ginger ale. Ale is so refreshing. What was your childhood <laughs> soda like? Like everyone had a soda that there was like ginger, that was their. I'm drinking mine right now. It's Sun Drop. Hell, you drink like seven sun drops. Are a, you a from day. like the nineteen sixties? Is that how old that is? Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> is that not when that's from? I was thinking nineties. I think most sodas are pretty old. Damn. Yeah. Mine was orange soda, man. If you gave me an orange soda as a kid, I would drink it. Here's a fun fact mm-hmm. about uh, Fanta: is it supported Nazis? Do we really? Yeah, it was a it was a German drink mm-hmm. back when World War Two. What role? I want right. a Fanta. Want to want a Fanta. Fanta. Fanta, Fanta. Um, I'm boring because yeah. that's right. <laughs> Sprite. Sprite is good. What was your? It's really good. Um, I, I think I did like Sprite quite a bit. 
Really? I'll burn. Yeah, I'm a oh. basic bitch. <laughs> you were, did you say you were a basic bitch? Yeah. Right when I want to catch a drink. Coca-Cola. Nice. Uh, let's see here. Moving on. Norm Mermaid says, in honor of National Cheese Pizza Day, which I did not realize it was, I got some oh cheese, God, cheese pizza. pizza. Oh, we gotta get a cheese pizza. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm totally eating cheese pizza. This is awesome. Are That's you? Like I knew. You better have posted your cheese pizza. <laughs> Wonder if it's discounted today. It says, but on a plate it's this so time, I don't freak out. So I don't freak out Saber Spark if I put plain food on a computer oh. keyboard. Thank you you freaked me out, by the way. <laughs> you freaked everybody out. Like, you did Take care of your keyboard, please. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki D says no food today. Uh, it's back to homework grind. Wow, they've got a lot of homework. What is that? The so what brought that one side the of the street? case of okay. Plessy versus Ferguson? <laughs> uh, Plessy Homer versus Simpson Plessy was seven eighths white and one eighth okay. black. Okay. Purchased a train ticket. Constitutionality <laughs> of the law. What are you talking yeah, about? Their we homework. Like, I'm talking about Homer Simpson. We were reading their Railroad homework. Railroad Bronies. It says, got some homemade macadamia cookies with Totino's pizza rolls and linenade. When don't you got it? Uh, for tonight's podcast, best of luck streaming on YouTube. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, we got more. We got oh, more we got, food. We got a lot more. Norse, eating some what? Keeves? Keeves? K- K-I-E-V-S. Yeah. I have not heard of With that. With fries, but I eated the fries. So these keeves look like hush puppies to me. They like, look they like look chicken like flat, nuggets. Yeah, they look like giant chicken nuggets. Or like flat hush puppies. They look like crab cakes. Uh. I don't know. They look like something fried. Interesting. Like a fried patty sort of thing. Uh, Reckless says popcorn and Pepsi Max. Wonder how things will change. Now we're on YouTube. Have no food, says Ross Pitt. Uh, simply watching the SVP on YouTube is a treat enough. Aww. Aww. Ross Bed also says the same thing with a picture. Yep. Uh, Rosie Diamond says watching the semi-perfect podcast while eating turkey burgers on lettuce leaves. Nice. Might grab some ice cream yes. after depending on how I feel. Always good. CH, Christopher Hope says spicy chicken noodles with weight. What happened to my Hawaiian punch? Oh, no. I think there's a chipmunk. Yes, a chipmunk drink it all. And rounding up the food post for tonight, Adam... Milliken says grazing and blazing. Uh, what? Wait. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> yep. He's got bleed. <laughs> or something like that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, so, again, welcome into the Semi Perfect Podcast. We talk about a whole bunch of stuff. If this is your first time joining us, thank you so much for joining us. We do this every other Wednesday night. Uh, typically, which means we'll be back in two weeks, September 19th, 2018. Uh, so, I guess first off, for starters, how has everyone's last two weeks been? Excuse me, there's one more SPP Foods post. <gasps> yeah. Uh, it better be yours, because otherwise I'm still upset see. with you. Let me see him. Look, going back to the tag. It, there it, it is. Whoa! Here's some cheese what is? I mean, it's cheese pizza. Wait, yeah. where? Where did you get this from? It looks good. Papa John's. <laughs> Papa John's. I just, okay. I'm go ahead and like all these food posts. Oh, okay. So, go ask somebody else about their week. So, how how was everyone's uh, last two weeks? What have you guys been up to? Playing Monster Hunter. Nice. That's what I've been doing. <laughs> That's all you were doing last time, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm still doing it. Okay. All right. Uh, what about... What about you, Paleo? What have you been up to? Well, I finished a video about Adventure Time before it ended, and then it ended, yeah. and I'm sad. Aww. Yeah. yeah. I, I, did well, video I, I made a spoiler screen week. if we want to talk about that later today. Whoa, there's a big... Okay, no mind. It's... Yeah, it's, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> um, yeah. yeah I, uh... I did, like... Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I did like a big um um a big Adventure Time video because I I I wrote it while I was at Sabers visiting um yeah. earlier last month. Yeah. Um, and then I uh, I recorded it there, and then when I got back, um, I started working on it like all throughout August. So, and like I put it together, um, released it uh last week or last Thursday, like a few days before the um the finale happened on on Labor Day. Uh, there was like a, a marathon on Labor Day from like six fifteen to 
to 6 p.m. at night, um, right, right before the finale. Um, I couldn't sleep the, the the day before, so I just like tried to stay up, but then I couldn't stay up, so I took a nap before mm -hmm. the finale. So I didn't see the entire marathon. Aw. But, yeah, I, uh, it was good. I, I liked it. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, like we said, we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit later on. Now, what we do here on the podcast, if we ever do discuss spoilers for anyone that's new, uh, we'll put up a spoiler screen when we do it. And we'll give you an idea, like, oh, we'll spend the next probably about 10 minutes. But what you could do is, if you don't want to hear the spoilers yet, and wait till another time to hear our discussion, um, you can mute the uh, podcast, and then once that spoiler screen comes down, then you know you're good to go. So, uh, just so you know, we we very much care about not spoiler spoilering. <laughs> yes. we, we don't want to do it. <laughs> uh saber how, how's your last two weeks been how's lammy doing he's doing all right he, he went to go get teeth surgery today um i dropped him off early in the morning and uh picked him up around two and he's still like in a daze a bit he, yeah. he's had some food it's what food he used the bathroom he, he's kind of returning back to his old self but he um you're like, yeah. he, he yeah. pooped. It's the old Lammy. Yeah. He did poop. He did poop. You're absolutely right. He's a good boy. So, good yeah, boy. He lost some of his teeth. Um, and now he's got, like, you know, painkillers and things like that. So I'm just uh, keeping an eye on him. Yep. Nice. Good, good. Uh, how many teeth does he have left? What's that? How many teeth does Lammy have left? Like, barely any. Yeah. Had, uh, <laughs> I told Ray today, like, because I saw your posts, and I was like, oh, looks like Lammy's just like Roxy, which is Jeffrey's uh, parents' dog. And Jeffrey. Roxy has only one tooth left, right? <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure we just got rid of that one tooth, too. They were just uh, like, get rid of it. Soft foods for life. Yeah, which, to be honest, is probably, you know, preferable. I don't know as a dog. Right, yeah. <laughs> She's that dog, Roxy. Oh man, she she's old, but she doesn't know it. So, it's like Lammy. Lammy's gonna be fourteen this year. Jeez, get him a walker. <laughs> um. So, uh, okay. So one thing I think we should do, uh, as I'll I'll continue down the line of who's what's new, um, Sarah made went through this whole thing of blocked words <laughs> yeah and i, I want to read all list. of them out oh no 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 no! you don't want to do that no <laughs> like look starting at the first with <laughs> no the first word starts with an n <laughs> you don't want to do does that. anyone want to buy a vowel <laughs> um no. uh, yeah no. you nugget uh so <laughs> <sighs> yeah um what about laura anything anything new or good mm -hmm. happened the last two weeks my car stopped working that's good mm. yeah so now it doesn't run and it's gonna have to get really expensive repairs to even start again so that's yeah, fun that sucks. i heard a little bit about this car so what would happen when you turn the key um, it would do like the normal like starting up sound, but then it would continue just to do that sound over and over, and it wouldn't ever actually start. Oh, there's mm -hmm. no spark. I I guess so. Maybe they say it's, it's um. Spark. <laughs> wow. They say it's um some issue with the fuel pump, and they have to yeah. mm -hmm. take like a bunch of crap out to even get to it. So it's like really the cost is yeah. Kind of yeah. So fuel pumps for anyone That's that just... doesn't know uh. Oddly enough, I, at least at least for cars I've dealt with on the low budgets, fuel pumps you get to from inside of the car. Yeah, mine too, yeah. Yeah, it's like an interior thing. It, it's weird. It's not like underneath the car or anything. Like It actually attaches in through the floorboard. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so that sucks. Um, it, in my car, you have to uh, rip up the seats and then like unscrew a thing, but then... For the most part, if you have like less than half gas, it's pretty easy to get to. If you have more than half gas, then it's like hmm. obnoxious. 
Yeah. Then a bunch of gas is gonna come like spraying out in your face. <laughs> so don't do it. Um, <laughs> well, that's a shame. But that's on a positive a... note. Yes. Um, my mom and I are gonna go on a <gasps> yeah a, a brief little like weekend little sabbatical. vacation. Sabbatical. Yes, yeah, sabbatical. And we're gonna go to um Orlando for yo the um. <laughs> Universal Halloween thing because they have Stranger Things stuff, and we're gonna go to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party. Oh, it's got some great shit on the horizon. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna do that because um, she and I have always wanted to do the Halloween stuff in Disney together, but we haven't had a chance because I was always in school, and now that I'm working instead, I can actually take time off and go. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. Hope y'all enjoy. Oh, that's cool. I'm excited. Yeah, Sarah and I are right now fleshing out some. Honeymoon stuff. Yeah. So, so. We're spending well, money. <laughs> One million dollars. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. Um, who else? Who have Sarah? What's new in the last two weeks? Uh, I've just been <laughs> working on the semi perfect podcast stuff, and today I went through um, my art stuff, and I kind of pared down. All this stuff that I don't use, um, and I'm probably gonna donate it to like a children's hospital or either at the local school, something like that. But yeah, I've got like a mm-hmm. big box full of art supplies that I just have not used in three years, so <laughs> it's all going. Yeah, it's all in good condition too because I never, never fucking used it. <laughs> <laughs> well, there it is. The first effort in the YouTube version of the stream. Yeah, good of work. Of course, I'm the first. You, one you had the first curse word though. Did I not? Who was the first no, curse word? No, you said damn. <gasps> I would never. You were the first curse word. Blasphemy! So you took the light the from me. <laughs> well, you said the first F word. Okay. Congrats. Uh, so, yeah. Hero, did I ask you about your week? Yeah, I played Monster Hunter. <laughs> oh, that's why I forgot. Uh, yeah, my... Um, so this past weekend, I was very busy. Actually, with Sarah. Uh, went out... Uh, did the main announcing at a night of destruction. Did some racing at a night of destruction. Uh, I didn't do very good, but I laughed the whole time. And um, and then the following day, went up to Santa Maria and covered stuff with Low Budget TV and Tommy. And on my way, I stopped at, like, this is in the middle of, like, Fillmore. If anyone is familiar with Southern California, which is, like, in between Valencia and Valencia and yeah, um, <laughs> Ventura or Magic Mountain. I don't know. I don't know where the hell Someone it is. On the planet. I don't know where the hell. It's like L.A. and beach, and in the middle is Fillmore, where they have like stuff where you can eat. Um, and I stopped at this donut shop, which is like this little hole in the wall donut shop, but I've been there like twice. So I'm like, I want to get a donut. And I, as I'm getting out of my car, this guy is sitting there and looks over at me and goes, AC race best. And I'm like, dude, it's funny. I just set up Siri. <laughs> yeah. Alexa, Siri's going. In the background in the other room. Oh, I said I, Siri. That's yeah, Alexa. I keep. I keep laughing because I'm seeing Everyone's it. asking about Bronies, right? Yeah, someone someone in the chat has posted like five times now. Broins react. <laughs> yeah. So so anyways, uh it was it was hilarious because I never would have figured. And who was it none other than Railroad Bronies? Yeah. We ran into them at a donut shop of all places. Um what are they so, but, yeah, but, I know. but here's out of the nowhere. Here's the best part of the story is that I'll be honest, when I did get out of my car, AC Race Best wasn't the name that I heard. <laughs> I hear Saber Spark? <laughs> and I go, You dyed your hair. <laughs> you look so handsome now. Oh, I'm kidding, you. I love you. But uh, yeah, no, the. <laughs> it was. It was funny because usually I'll like at conventions I get called Saber Spark all the time, uh, and I hate it every time. But uh, no, I I it was one of the few times where I'm like, oh, by the way, just so you know, I am race, but you recognized me enough, so we win. Mm-hmm. Um, 
But yeah, no, it was it was funny. Very unexpected. Completely just out of the blue. So yeah, that was that was one of the highlights of Yeah. Of... Can I take a quick moment to observe something? Yes. I like how with the uh picture Sarah used here for um <laughs> The semi perfect podcast, the chat box blocks paleo. Yes. Yeah. Like Mike, <laughs> Mike was asking. Like, oh, I can't believe it. Oh, it, took, it took me a while to find a chat box thing that uh, was partially transparent so you could technically see everybody, but I ended up just going with the same sort of style that the Twitch had. It's all good. Paleo's OC is the worst. So. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Your OC is the worst. This is a rip off final stretch. Oh yeah, well you look dumb. Gotty. Oh, got him. Oh. <laughs> oh. Um. So since it's such a big topic, and I know a lot of people are dying to talk about it. Yeah. They're dying. To talk. Yes. Uh, what do you guys say we do chat about? Um. So. Again, the Adventure Time finale, of which I don't think I've watched a single episode of the show ever, <laughs> but I know people on here have, and I, I'm sure many of the people here. So we're going to put up a spoiler screen right now. Okay, so question to everybody in, in the podcast. I generally put, I generally extinguish the chat box for when I put up the spoiler screen because people mm-hmm. might talk about stuff. Okay. Do, is that something we still want to do? Or do uh, we that... want to have the chat room on there? I've... But I mean, like... If you're on the screen, you're going to see the live chat box anyway. That's that's a good call. Uh, huh. Yeah, maybe maybe for now, block out the chat box. Okay. We'll also be talking about the My Little Pony episode that aired. Um, but for now, again, if there's anyone that doesn't want to see anything or hear anything specifically about the chat... I'm sorry, about Adventure Time and the chat. Uh, just uh, keep an eye on the screen, mute the stream for now, and we will keep you away from spoilers. Um, so is it just going to be me and Saber then? Yep. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Sarah watched it. Oh, you did? Have you kept up with Wait, that? did you not watch it? Yeah, I did watch it. I watched oh, it today. She, she made a face, and I'm like, No, oh. sorry, I was looking at something else. Sarah's also managing the chat room. Yeah, I'm managing the chat room. Spoilers uh, ahead. Paleo, yeah. talk about Adventure Time and why it is so important right now. Okay, so yeah, Adventure Time, um, I did like a, a whole video. All right, well, it. Adventure Time is... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Go ahead, keep going, keep going. Yeah, it it basically... It, a lot of the cartoons that came out in the past like eight years and this... this uh. This whole decade owes a lot of its, like, I guess, success to Adventure Time. Because it it sort of started, uh, that uh, Adventure Time and Regular Show, both of them, like, started this, like, cartoon renaissance um, uh, for for the 2010s. Uh, Because I I saw, Saber, your video uh, today, and how you talked about how between, like, 2007 to 2009, uh, cartoons, especially on Cartoon Network, were getting in this really weird place. Mm-hmm. Um, there was, like, Chowder and Flapjack, but then there was a bunch of the, all that acquired content. Um, and they were starting to experiment with live action. They were doing, like, a lot of weird choices. Um, but then, uh, like, Adventure Time comes along, uh, as well as Regular Show, and they become like this this phenomenon on on the network and like they they get people watching again um like the numbers that adventure time pulled in uh for being starting in an era where the internet was starting to take over um was like really like unprecedented like how how many viewers they were getting um and there, there's a reason that uh, they were getting viewers because the, the show is like really good it's really funny um it has some very fun characters it has this very like really really fun um uh sandbox uh feel to it to where it seems like anything could happen in the show uh with the the type of setting they they chose because uh i said in my video that um uh, one of the biggest influence uh, influences of adventure time is dungeons and dragons and you can really see that in, the, in a lot of the episodes um yeah. 
so yeah with this with this finale um it started out very much um like a humorous comedic cartoon but then uh they they had little hints about like what the world was about in the first couple of seasons and then they started to get into um a few more uh i guess like serious uh, episodes but it still has that that humor there um so it had this thing where they they started doing um uh these storylines in the show uh some were more, more subtle than others um some were more um apparent but and a lot of other cartoons like during the 2010s would look, go that kind of route um uh, as far as like western cartoons go so uh that that were that were comedic um um uh first and foremost because we have had like story driven cartoons before like you know avatar is like one of those and that what came out in the mid 2000s um but then like avenger time like at the, at, on the surface it seems like something like like a spongebob mm -hmm. but um it became uh, much more than that um, I think SpongeBob is still like a bigger phenomenon than Adventure yeah. Time. Like it's still going on now. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it, Adventure Time had this weird like influence uh, on the industry, and it, it 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 seems like an anomaly compared to to other cartoons uh, because of like how I guess freeform it is. Um, and then it started telling these really uh, interesting stories in it. Um. As far as the, the finale goes, I, I really don't want to spoil too much, um, because uh, uh, there there's a lot of different threads that wrap up in the uh, the uh, the finale. Mm -hmm. um, no, not completely everything, um, but they they had like little hints about like the the future of of uh, the land of Ooh, yeah. um, uh spread throughout the show, and they address some of that, um, and they they sort of do this thing where they they flesh out that that future mm -hmm. but don't tell you how it happened and you just it's just left to your imagination and i kind of i kind of like that because uh it it really makes it feel like the world is alive mm -hmm. uh and that's i guess something that i really um uh gravitated towards with adventure time because it, it it seems like it has all of this lore um and and it's still like fun um uh saber uh what did what did you think of the the finale he just went to the bathroom <laughs> oh damn it uh, <laughs> what, did, what did you think of it sarah uh i liked it um what was his name sherman the little cat guy uh shermy shermy oh he's so fucking cute <laughs> i love him <laughs> yeah, yeah um, he is. um yeah i really liked it um i kind of like I got chills when like the last song was going, and I was like, "Oh man, this is a really good send off for for this show that yeah. did so much for animation." And yeah, th there were so many Easter eggs in yeah. that uh, little montage. And I actually, um, I I did like that. Like in the commercial breaks, they were like, "Here's some Easter eggs in case you missed them." I'm like, "Oh, I yeah. did miss that. Thanks." <laughs> no. but, yeah. yeah. Thanks for showing me after it appeared. <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah, it was it was really good, and I thought it was a very good send off for the show. And Marcy and Bubblegum, thumbs up. Yeah, Marceline and Bubblegum. That's that's like the the major major thing. Yeah. Um, the the thing is like I I see some people saying like, oh yeah, it's finally canon. And it was like it's it's been canon. They just, they've they it's just only now they've actually like acknowledged um uh or not acknowledged but like shown it as much as they could. Um, but because they, they ever since the first like interaction they've had, they, they, you could tell that there was some history be, between them. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, it, because at it, it first it seemed like the the first I'm trying to remember which episode uh, I think it was like in season two where uh, they they first like uh, interact with each other yeah. uh, in the show itself, but they, they've interacted before in in, in the past. Um, and and then it sort of uh, develops over the over the season where they start to get uh, to to know know each other again. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm glad that happened. And then uh, things with uh, Simon and Betty, which uh, that's sad. Um, 
and then uh yeah there's stuff with fern and finn and uh jake and bimo and everything is like there's there's one song in the um in the finale about uh uh it was actually titled time adventure and it's written by um rebecca sugar um and she's she's written a, a few songs for the show um and i actually recently watched a video about um uh, a retrospective of adventure time and one of the first songs she wrote for the show was uh, i remember you and that was like back in like season four where um marceline's um uh, singing to, to ice king about like the, the whole past that they had um and it was mentioned in that retro retrospective that was that it was very much a proto steven universe song um and like Rebecca Sugar came back to the show a couple times. Like she did uh, "Everything Stays" for for uh, Stakes, uh, that Marceline song, and then with this uh, "Time Adventure," which was talking about, I guess the the passage of time, and also that everything like about time and being an illusion, and like things happening, and it, it's hard it's hard to explain, but yeah. it's a, it's an interesting. Uh, they, I think they were getting at like how like um, th things that have already happened, you know, always will be, and, yeah. and can't like you know for that moment we happened, you know, it happens, and and you can't erase that. So uh, yeah, and you can tell the the show staff felt really uh, emotional making this mm -hmm. and mapping up the job. But um, my my uh, I guess critique for the finale. Is that it was a little bit all over the place a bit. I mean, it's, yeah. it, there's a lot of show to wrap up in forty something minutes, and I agree with Paleo where it's like this should have been a, a TV movie or whatever. Yeah, I was I was feeling like if they could have like twenty or thirty more minutes and have it like like a TV movie, I, I think it, it would have the pacing would have been a li little bit better. Um, yeah. Because uh, the first time watching, um, I felt like the pacing was a bit weird, but I was I was watching on TV. But then when I watched it again, uh, I. For, for some reason, even though there was no commercials, uh, the pacing felt better to me. But I still think it would, like, benefit from, like, 20 more minutes. Oh, yeah, a lot, actually. Yeah. Cool. Well... Yeah, are we in spoiler mode? Yeah, we're on spoiler huh? mode. Um, do you mind if I say something? Do it. Do it! It's fine. So At this point, it doesn't matter. I mean, it's almost oh. kind of a direct corner, you know. The Marceline and... And bubblegum kiss. Um, <laughs> uh, something that needs to be said about that, yeah. I'm sure it's already been said, is that like this wasn't just some like, it's cool to have girls kissing girls nowadays on television. It was more like they've been building up to this for years with their relationship and their chemistry. Yeah, that was, I was mentioning yeah. that earlier. And all from history and, and all this stuff. And it just, this is was finally the product of it all. Yeah. I mean, you could have thrown this back, you know, seven years ago. And mm -hmm. I still feel like this would have been like the result between the two, unless the writers wanted to change it. So it, it wasn't like this is queer baiting. It's like, no, this is actually like legitimate storytelling that's finally hit its climax and, yeah. and, and they'll be together. So Again and again and again. Though I felt like the the finale really had nothing to I mean, like Finn almost felt like he wasn't the main character. It felt more like Ice King yeah. and Bubble yeah. than Ice King were the main characters. Well, Finn's like, hey, and Finn's here, too. <laughs> yeah. It's Steven! Steven! I love, I love me. I love me. <laughs> Steven! Well, uh, anything else you guys want to talk about with that, or do you want to move on to the MLP episode? I'm, I'm sad that people that didn't get into the show are now not going to get into the show since it's over. <laughs> I mean, they, well, it's, they it's still the could. on Hulu. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, I've been waiting oh. for it to end so I could just binge the whole thing. Yeah, it's it's getting... Uh, when we go to the Hulu search, it's like Adventure Time's number yeah, one. Yeah, they're probably going to uh, post it on there um, like within the next month, probably. Yep. Mm. Nice. Yeah. Well, shall we get into the My Little Pony episode? Yes. Yeah, which episode are we talking about? We're talking about uh, Road to Friendship. Uh, because the other episode that we would have talked about already aired because it was like a special surprise episode or whatever. It was or the an Yakety accident. Sacks. Who knows? No, it was the okay. Yakety oh, Sacks that, one. That one. Yeah. Yeah. We, we already talked about it. We don't need to talk about it again. Okay. So, um, 
A road to friendship. Do I have the screen up? Yes, I do. Okay. All right. In so, this... so just real quick. Obviously, we're done talking about Adventure Time. Yes. We're now talking okay. about the My Little Pony episode. I'm gonna hide the chat. Boop. Bye, chat. Oh, okay. Sorry. Um. So in <laughs> in this episode, Trixie's invited to bring her magic show to Saddle Arabia, where she, and she can think of no one better to bring along with her uh, than her great and powerful assistant, Starlight Glimmer. So. Yeah, we, Race and I watched this episode today, so it's pretty fresh in our minds. I've I've come to a conclusion. Uh huh. If so, with Generation Four, for as long as it's lasted, I realize that I will go all the way to the end of this generation and never like Trixie. <laughs> right. Yeah. I've just just she's still very unlikable. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, I will say that I don't hate her. That's that's her. good. Like it's like I definitely used to hate her, but like now <laughs> I'm like you know what? As long as she's with Starlight, she's all right. That's like that's like saying they bring out the best in each other. Yeah, that is high praise. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Zootopia. Um, yeah, I just I don't know, it just. Like, even when I she has, like, this moment for me where I go, oh, maybe she's not going to... Nope, there she is. Mm-hmm. Like, I think yeah. it would help a lot for me if she didn't refer to herself as the great and powerful Trixie. Like, you're not even powerful. Yeah. And it's, it's just the gag. It's, it's, it's interesting that, like, um, shitty stage uh, magic is, like, such a revered... Well... I would say it pulls a crowd, even when there's, yeah. like, actual, like, really good magic out in the world. <laughs> like, literally, Starlight can do so much stuff just by, like, snapping her <laughs> Oh, is fingers. she gonna get out of this box? I wonder how. And Starlight's like, one second, I gotta teleport to 1972. I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, I just... I, so, but, okay, so aside from my feelings on Trixie, what did you guys think of the episode? I like uh, it a lot. There was a part that was really funny to me. Yeah. Um, when something that could help Yeah, <laughs> when, they were, when, when they were sleeping, or trying to get to sleep in When they were sleeping little, together. Yeah. yeah and Hell yeah. <laughs> and Starlight pushed the, uh, she pushed the box over the trick scene, like smushed her cheeks, and she's like, is there something I can do to make you more comfortable? Like, yeah. I don't know, I just like cracked up. Yeah. That was hilarious. It was a good line. There was, uh, <laughs> I had a moment in this where I felt like it was very relatable to some community guests. Wow. I'm trying to remember what it was. Um, oh man, now now I oh it ha- oh it had to do with how like the guys like hey can you come to let's say my convention and uh, do this and oh, she's yeah, like yeah. no nah, that's too far away and they're like oh but all your fans want to see you okay I'm coming <laughs> here I come <laughs> <laughs> just stroke that ego alright I'm on my way yeah. <laughs> is, this, is this the first time we've seen Saddle Arabia or have I think we already so. seen yes oh, I think so. So. we've I only think... like heard of them yeah what was that the, the... but why was only the one guy yeah like, he the, was like super pony, tall and while like, everybody else was like normal boy. Boy. yeah I don't know cause they only had the budget to design one new pony who I was guess. that guy of Arabia what's that movie something of Lawrence Arabia Arabia uh, Lords of Arabia yeah <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah he I, and I he was an interesting one like he, he went from like super fan to kind of a dick dick yeah <laughs> To, like, I taught you a lesson. I'm Jiminy Cricket. Like, I'm like, what are you? Yeah. Right? It's like he's just kind of <laughs> an entity. Yeah. Chrysalis. Everyone's chrysalis. Yeah. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. Starlight has the knack to take a bad situation and dial it up to, like, 12. Right? It's like, she, she traded Trixie's fucking cart. And I'm just like, bitch! That wasn't yeah, yours like, to give away. Hey, I, I, so I gave this guy your car. Hope that's cool. I like yeah. The part just... Where where Doctor Strange is like, was this your cart? And she's like, it was. <laughs> Doctor Strange. <laughs> that's it. Okay. Or laugh. Here's I all right. Laugh. I have a poll for everybody. Nope. Who what? here actually thinks or would consider 
Starlight and Trixie's friendship a good friendship? Um, yeah. They're, they're, yes. They're, um, yes. They've improved each other, but they're both kind of shitty, so they're looking they better. <laughs> <laughs> like, like to me, they had a moment where where they're like, you know, I've discovered that you and I should never travel together, best mm-hmm. friend, and I'm like, you know. I feel like <laughs> I feel like okay. if, you, if you can't there's like there are definitely people who I really love and like I really like spending time with, but I wouldn't want to go on a road trip with. You know what oh, I mean? Absolutely. Well you hate road trips in general. But even still, like there's people that's like, oh I have to go on this road trip. Okay, I'll go with this person because I know I won't go crazy. Right. Hmm. I don't I know. Think, I think that's a I think I definitely think that's a type of friendship that exists. Yeah. Yeah. Like, maybe I just... I don't know. Maybe... I, I think I have a smaller... Huh. <laughs> Stop it. Uh-huh. Uh, no, what? I... What? I don't know. I was gonna say circle of uh, friends where... <laughs> no, now I'm trying to think. Now I'm trying to think of it this way. Because that was, like... When I heard that, I'm like, dude... But, I mean, I do have, like, close people... Like, people I would call friends that are, like people I see not very often that I probably wouldn't want to travel with. But at the same time, I feel like these two kind of play off the whole best for, I feel like the show wants us to believe that these two were so different yet had some similarities that brought them together. Now they're best friends. And I'm like, yeah, but I see there's some pretty big cracks in this best friendship. Like I get like your casual friend, not being someone that you want to road trip with, but I don't know. Like I feel like if you can't road trip with like your best bud, there's a problem. Because road tripping <laughs> should be kind of fun. You see, maybe it's like I don't like road trips to begin with. Yeah. So like, there's it's like it has to be like a specific person that I'm like, all right, like we can make this work. Versus like someone who I might really enjoy spending time with who's like a good friend but it's just like i know that you're gonna be super excited about this road trip and i'm gonna be miserable the whole time so this isn't gonna work (laughs) (laughs) now the thing is is that the road trip was going pretty good until they get to the town that they were at which is Mm -hmm. interesting one thing i think this show kind of has from time to time and it's okay because i know i know in some way shape or form they are typically trying to teach a lesson Mm -hmm. and a lot of times when you're teaching a lesson You'll exaggerate some things, either for the comedy side of it or just to just get the point across. But I feel like more often than not, the issues, and this could just be across the board with any type of storytelling, but I feel like the issues that arise always get blown so far out of proportion because people don't know how to handle like yeah. the smallest of problems. Mm-hmm. Like, can't Starlight like just shrink people. all of the unnecessary items that Trixie has right. in her <laughs> cart and just be like, there you go, problem solved. We have, have you not room. seen Honey, I Shrunk the Kids? I could tell you why this is a problem. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. Man. I just, Starlight and Twilight should kiss. They should. Mm-hmm. That's all I'm saying. And Trixie, you should watch. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, okay. You like that idea? Um, anything else on the episode anybody wants to say before we take off the spoiler screen? I like the song. Oh yeah, there yeah, was, was a song. Yeah, it was cute. It was a good song. Um, I like songs that have those like um. Hey little... you! Hey me! What's you? No, I like the songs that have like those little bits of like the characters talking to each other. Like... That's what I just did. Okay, yeah. well you did a bad example. This is. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. What about the fact that like, for some reason, Starlight's counseling line is like a mile long. Like, what is that school doing to these poor kids? I wondered the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> What's like? Oh man. What's Reckless says here? in the chat, Hey, AC Racebus, can you remind the guys that it's called a wagon and not a cart? Um, technically, it is called a wagon, <laughs> not a cart. A wagon is something. That... Oh, boy. Woo, woo, woo. Um, did you, did you <laughs> see yet, yet uh, a list of, of topics? 
a list of topics. Um, you brought up not one thing. Any of the other pony episodes then? No, because I'm only. We're we're um, basing we're it off of the TV release. Our, yeah, yeah, our Fine. Local... Fine. Yeah. Fine. Sorry, <laughs> I have only seen up to the TV releases. Yes. There's just one that I really want to talk about with people, and I haven't been able to yet. So well, sorry. Well, I'm. I, I love that you're excited because that makes me excited to see it. Whatever it is, Next I don't even. Time. <laughs> Next time. Um. Did we have more topics that? Yeah, you had a topic that you mentioned to me. I love that I tell you my topics now. When they happen, I text Sarah and say, note this. You wanted um, us to talk about a moment in your childhood where, like, you... Oh! Where you grew up. Okay, this is actually... This is is kind of uh, deeper or, like, not... Maybe not... Like, it might have some humor involved in it, but it's, it's... Something that Sarah and I were talking about, and I was curious to know if anyone's had a moment like this, all right? So, um, essentially, it's it's a moment in your childhood where, and, and, I'll, and I'll clarify what I'm saying here, but essentially where you kind of lost that, that childhood, I guess, innocence, the, the kind of like the, where you're, I feel like as a child, we where grow up. you're kind up, of like forced to grow up a little bit? Maybe. Yeah. Where like, where as a child, there's a period of time where you just don't care what anyone else thinks. And then you okay. kind of begin to transition into that like closer to your teenage years where it be, you start, for a lot of people, start worrying about what everyone thinks. And I'm curious if you guys can think of any particular moments in your life where you had something happen. And I'll tell my story first to kind of give an example of where I'm going with this. Um, and I, I forget what even brought this up. But essentially, there. so back in the day, Sarah and I were listening or, or kind of talking about old TV shows we would watch. You know, when we were young. And one of the TV shows that I used to watch all the time was Barney. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, same like I would sing the cleanup song, but I wouldn't do the cleanup song. But I still liked it. Monster. <laughs> um, so I watched that all the time. Also, of course, you know I was into racing from the time I was a kid, and my parents got me this T-shirt that had Barney waving a checkered flag, and there were race cars on it. I loved, loved this T-shirt. Oh. It was like, yeah, I was combining two fantastic things and I'm like, this is great. And I didn't care. I wore it around. I was, I was happy. I didn't, I wasn't worried about what other people thought because I hadn't yet had an interaction that would make me care. And one day I was going to soccer practice and my parents weren't able to bring me to soccer practice. And so my, um, I think, I'm trying to remember, but I think it was my coach, my soccer coach. And he had uh, his son named Chris. And Chris is a guy that I went to school with for years. And Chris was kind of rough around the edges type of guy. Like, like, you know, too cool for school. Um, Where I was just me. Happy-go-lucky me. Uh, Essentially, imagine how I act now, but as an eight-year-old. No different. Uh, So... So I, I get into their car and, you know, I'm, I'm excited. I'm going to soccer practice. I got, I got my shoes on. I got my soccer ball. I got my water. And we start driving and my coach turns back and looks at my t-shirt and goes, what the hell are you wearing? What the heck? And I'm like, <laughs> it's, it's a shirt. It's just a, it's a shirt I like. It's, yeah. And he goes, is that Barney? <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, at this point, I'm starting to lose confidence in my, my choice of shirt. And, yeah, so he gives me this whole, is that Barney? And I'm like, yeah. And he says to me, as, as so Chris at this point kind of turns around, and he's kind of like snickering at this. And my coach goes, if you ever wear that shirt again. I will not give you a ride to soccer practice. 
<laughs> like a real asshole. Which yeah. as a kid, as a kid, this was mortifying. I yeah. had never experienced something like this. You know, I mean, I'm sitting there in the back of some guy's car wearing my Barney shirt. I'm 17 and I'm like, what's the problem? <laughs> <laughs> How old were you really? I was probably, it was between 8 to 10 years old. But I, and it just, and it's, I feel like that was my moment in life where not only did I realize, oh wow, people actually judge and care about what I wear. Um, but I think that was also around the time where I started to also, like, really assess the content that I was watching as a kid. And... Yeah, like I know that it wasn't until a little bit later in life that I lost touch with a lot of cartoons and, and that kind of stuff. But it was definitely like a moment for me where I felt like, wow, I like it. It, it kind of just like ripped me up. I when I got home, I, like you know, I was gone for an hour, and obviously it was still fresh on my mind because I got home and I took off the shirt when I walked in. My mom's asking me how's how was soccer practice. I, and I and I I was holding out the shirt to her and I said throw this away. <laughs> and she's like, "Why? I thought you liked the shirt." And the beauty of I guess me is I've I've never like lost this quality, I guess, but I straight shot everything that happened. Like I wasn't like that kid on TV that doesn't tell the parent I just got bullied or <laughs> this sucked I and just walks to my room. I'm like well, my coach said this and this and this. So I mean, she asked why, and I was just, I was just like, yeah. But I, I never wore that shirt again. I, I, that was it. And I felt like that was a pivotal moment in my childhood where I kind of looked at it like, wow, I actually need to like grow up. And it sucked, but it was just, yeah, like you know, now, now, of course, I'm comfortable with whatever the hell I do, you know, I, I could watch, I could turn on Barney right now and just be like, dude, this show is Barney, but, but <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know if you guys ever had anything like that happen to you as a kid where you kind of like, st- kind of step back as a kid and go, oh, I can't do this. This isn't cool. And it, it, it sucks, um, but. I sort of had a few moments like that. As far as like stuff I was interested in, yeah. Um, and one of them was Barney, though that was of my own volition, because um, <laughs> like, uh, for Barney, like I fell out of it when I was like six, maybe, um, where I started getting into Jurassic Park. So I was like, wow, these dinosaurs are fucking awesome. And no, I didn't say fucking awesome, but. <laughs> 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 The thing is, like, Jurassic Park actually got me in trouble because, like, I, <laughs> when, when I... I'm saying fuck all the time. <laughs> yeah. That'll do it. Because, no, I said a different word. Um, because, <laughs> like, when the, the house that, um, uh, I didn't always, uh, live in the house I am now with my dad. Uh, there was, a a house that we lived in a little greenhouse and then we were about to buy this house that's at the the lake here that um where my mom and uh dad and myself lived for like the past like 20 or so years um and uh while it was being built uh there was like these big piles of like clay and and dirt and i just remembered that scene from jurassic park where jeff goldblum looks at the big pile of shit and is like that's a big pile of shit. And I said that <laughs> when I was like six. <laughs> and my mom's like, what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, like, Barney, I fell out of that because of Jurassic Park. And then uh, Power Rangers was another thing. Uh, but that was because of school. Because kids at school stopped being into Power Rangers around like third or fourth grade oh. for whatever reason. Um... And then everybody got into Pokemon, and uh, for for Power Rangers, I was like, oh yeah, I can I can leave Power Rangers, I guess. But for Pokemon, like the next grade in the fifth grade, everybody like fell out of Pokemon. But I was like, no, not Pokemon. I'm keeping Pokemon. Uh, still here. <laughs> <Not> Pokemon. <laughs> you can't take this from me. 
You can't do this to me. You know what's weird? <laughs> is Paleo... You know I sacrificed? Me with all my Pokemon cards. <laughs> Look at your Pokemon card collection. <laughs> Paleo, I, I had a oddly similar thing happen. And, and now that you say it, I think... Jurassic Park might have been the movie that this happened with me. Um, because I... Uh, I remember I was so proud one day because I heard the word shit in a movie. <laughs> and I'm like, I know what that means. Like, and it might have been Jurassic Park. And <laughs> to which I felt I was sitting at the dinner table. And I look at my parents and I'm like, hey. <laughs> do you guys know what shit means? And they <laughs> sent me to my room. I was it's like, not fair. like, you don't know what this stuff is. Like, I, I remember in second grade, there was a girl named, like, Chris Style or something like that who had a crush on me, and she was the class, like, loser because we were just a bunch of asshole kids. And she's like, I'm crushing me, Stephen. And I remember, like, distancing myself. And at lunch one time, all the kids were like, wow, Stephen and whatever, sitting in a tree. And this is the thing that blows my mind. Cause it must be the TV or maybe my dad. But for some reason, I knew what the word fuck was <laughs> without really – comprehending it's it's how heavy it is because right the lunch lady walking right next to me i go no i think she's a fucking asshole <laughs> <laughs> dead serious i got in so much trouble for that <laughs> you no, got that your christian school too no that was a uh, public school that's what i was right. back in the day. that's that's why he got sent to christian school <laughs> they were like this boy needs jesus Oh man, <laughs> oh that's good. Anyone else got a story? Not even one. Huh? What is that? Uh, uh, sorry, I was scrolling through the SPP questions tag, and someone posted some art. <laughs> I love and, it. Uh, let's see. Hold on one second. I'm gonna put this in the Discord chat. Oh man! So so one thing we're uh, we're starting to uh, we're we're probably gonna head towards um, uh, and uh, just because of timing and whatnot, uh, <laughs> we'll probably head into the Q and A part of the podcast. <laughs> and uh, for this, so kind of a little bit new, but of course we do have Twitter where you can ask us at SPP questions. Sarah will yep. post the info here, but it'll say I did it. Um, but, uh, also we have the super chat in there and the way that this is going to work is, uh, because we've been getting so many good questions from everybody and we like to embellish on a lot of those questions. Um, the super chat submissions are going to get priority. Mm -hmm. So if anyone sends in a, a super chat and Sarah, how does super chat work? Um, you just go, so just below the chat room area, there's like a little money sign. You click that and I think from there you, you, you type can... in 100 and then <laughs> you ask your question. One billion dollars. <laughs> Lots of jokes. <laughs> um, and, uh, but yeah, and then, uh, so we'll set priority to those questions and, and definitely try to give them, well, we will give them more time. Yeah. Um. And, uh, and yeah, but we'll also still grab questions from Twitter. It's just we can't guarantee that we will get through all the questions. However, if we don't, and if you're not able to use Super Chat, mm -hmm. don't worry. Just submit the same question uh, next or in two weeks from now. Yeah. Uh, eventually, we'll, we'll, you know, get to it. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, again, the hashtag SPP questions on Twitter is where we will be taking questions but if you want to be first in line or have a question and you're like i gotta get this answered and for sure want to hear it uh super chat yes so so yeah so uh we'll probably this is going to be a little bit earlier of a podcast i think we'll probably do questions for about 30 minutes okay um that sound good to you guys sounds good to me yep okay. i actually work at seven tomorrow Ooh. Oh. I have to be at work like five minutes early tomorrow, so well sucks. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, so we'll do that. Uh, just because we saw it right here, uh, I'm gonna start with this one. Okay. Um, scroll up. Oh, this one. Okay. Yes, from Peyton Smith asking, 
uh, says, I've wanted to know for three years, is Mr. Racebest a fan of Tesla's? And Drew, me, like, standing on top of a Tesla with the most amazing facial <laughs> expression. Sarah, what are you doing in this picture? Um, I'm probably telling you to get back in the fucking car. You're going <laughs> to kill yourself. <laughs> I'm on top of the world! <laughs> I do look like I'm... I made a terrible decision and just realized it. Yeah. You look very calm about it. Where I'm I like, look... hey, can you please get back in the car? Like, you're going to kill yourself. <laughs> um, yeah. So, let's see here. Am I a fan of Teslas? Um, I'm not not a fan of Teslas. Do I have any reason to not be a fan of Teslas? No. Are Teslas decent cars? I want to race yes. a Tesla. Aren't they, like, expensive? Yes. Um, yeah. Then yes, I'm a fan of expensive things. <laughs> yes, I love the picture though. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> thank you, Peyton. I will treasure this picture forever. Mm. Yeah. All right. Um. Let's see here. Okay, getting to the queue. Uh, oh. let's see. So Aziel's asking thoughts on Alex Hirsch signing with Netflix for a new series and movies. Also, do did anything got the Pro Gravity Falls complete series on <laughs> Blu-ray or the Gravity Falls Lost Legends? What? <laughs> I, I want to get the Blu-ray at some point of the complete collection. Uh, that'd, that'd be cool. It's, it's, it's nice that they put it out on, uh, on Blu-ray. Uh, we've got a super chat from Ross Pitt asking, do you fear history will repeat itself and we'll get a type of 2000s, mid-2000 era of cartoons soon? Ooh, okay. Let's spend, uh, a, let's spend a little bit of time on this one. Um, hmm. I hope not. <laughs> well, well uh, 2000, mid-2000s? Was that that? I feel, yeah, I feel 2000s like I got... to mid-2000s is pretty good. It's, it's like the late 2000s. Yeah. Like, like 2006 to 2000. Nine-ish is like yeah. the uh, area. What about yeah, what about with movies? About Cartoon movies though, didn't they struggle a lot around this time? Uh, what? I guess. Two thousand. Um, what? When did Shrek come out? Wasn't that early? Like two thousand one. Yeah. When did so, Home on the I Range the come out? Be, uh, uh, Home on the Range came out like two thousand five, I think, or four. The, the, the... <laughs> I still want to watch the big challenge here. It's going to be what? Uh, 2004 what? for Home on the Range. Fine, I won't say anything. Sorry. <laughs> I'm ready to hear Saber well, Spark. I, I, I want to say something. Um. Well, I think that. Um... <laughs> <laughs> That's a power move. No. Um, it's be, um, whether or not the streaming services are going to be willing to put in original content. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, we're, we're definitely I mean, we're, that way, aren't we? We're we're getting some like uh, newer stuff. Like the something that's coming out this month actually is a cartoon called Hilda on Netflix, and it looks really cool. Um, yeah, but then you got Paradise PD, which looks fucking awful. What the, what fuck the is that? hell is Paradise PD? It looks like Go Animate. It looks like Family Guy and Go Animate had an abortion. Paradise PD? I haven't even heard of that. Yeah, but there was also Disenchantment, and I really liked Disenchantment. Yeah. Apparently, a lot of people didn't. Yeah, I don't know People why. Were just I don't know. Like, like I watched it and I liked it just fine. But I also I I don't watch a lot of Futurama, so maybe people who like Futurama yeah. maybe have. I, I think people are expecting like way too much from it. Yeah. I mean, like more on the topic of the question, uh, it seems like there's quality stuff coming out right now. I don't think yeah. we're really headed to a dark age right now. I think yeah. we're good. Yeah. I, th then I think got... some people are just saying that because like a lot of the really big heavy hitters are starting to end. Right. Because like um, yeah. soon, soon and it's going to have... be really weird. We have the Owl cartoons. House. We have yeah. the Owl House coming soon. Owl, Owl got... House and Amphibia. I'm looking forward to. And yes. it's going to train as well. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be a, a very weird um environment for new, new cartoons to come come out because like uh, a new cartoon that came out this year, Summer Camp Island, they just mm -hmm. dumped all the episodes. Uh, on one weekend um huh. where uh like i think cartoons are definitely going to have to somehow transition to streaming or networks have to transition to some kind of streaming service for them to survive and keep making their own cartoons mm -hmm. which stinks as a viewer because i hate binge watching things usually yeah 
I like a steady flow of uh, content. But then I, I won't be able to get on the internet then when a cartoon gets dumped. <laughs> it's it's funny because yeah. I'm like you, Hero, where I like I hate stuff like the Steven Universe release schedule. Bombs, right? yeah. But then at the same time, like I'll watch something like The Walking Dead. Uh, but I'll that's still still going on. Now yeah. there's two of them, uh, and <laughs> but I'll like sit and just watch them pile up on my box and then be like, oh. The season's been over for a year. Maybe I should watch this. (laughs) (laughs) And so maybe I'm just one of those people who doesn't know what he wants. Mm -hmm. He he hoards everything on on the DVR. I do not. I I watch through it. At one point, there was only like three hours of space left on our DVR. One point? That happens every week. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You're you're, But it's not hoarding. It's it's that I collect. I, I stock for the future. Like anyone that... Appreciates good That's food. A hoarder. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just different because I don't let them sit. Like I was trying to get through all the okay. old stuff, yeah, right. but then Sarah is like, "I don't want to watch this movie yet." Well, I tell you, if you want to watch this movie, you watch it on your own because I'm not interested in it. And then, like, he's got to watch it. Um, By myself. But going back to the the question, I think. Personally, for me, I think we're going to be fine as far as cartoons go. Because yeah. I've been liking the stuff I've been seeing and some of the previews of cartoons to come. And yeah. I think we'll be okay. I think, yeah. Yeah, I think like, uh, as far as, like, quality-wise, yeah. we'll be fine. It's just, like, I think the networks might be in trouble yeah. as, as far as, like, viewership goes. Um, yeah. And that they will have to move online somehow. Yeah. People are like, oh, the good show's are ending. I'm like, have y'all, like, what? Who is watching Star? Go watch Star. Star is going on right now and it's phenomenal. Please go watch Star. Star versus, versus the Force of Evil. Yeah, Never heard of it. I was like this show is uh, not done, uh, and it's very good. It's occurring right now. Well, not right now. It's taking a hiatus, but yeah, yeah. Sheesh. Bojack, Bojack's still going on. It's coming up soon. Yeah, yeah it's coming out like. In a couple weeks. No, sorry, go back to the. All right. Um. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna be good to go on the future of mm-hmm. cartoons. Uh. Luckily, there's always at least a few standouts. But man, did we have uh interesting. <laughs> We've had cartoons. I think have the most interesting story, like timelines. Mm-hmm. Um. Rosie. Do you know about this? It's funny yeah. because my 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 parents are like, "Oh, you still watch cartoons?" I was like, "You watch like." Entertainment tonight, like what's yeah. the <laughs> like? <laughs> like my, I I like actual stories. They're like watching like, Gilligan's content. Island. You're like, hey, yeah. that's old. Like, you're like hey, and my in my little my little pony show. Uh, well, this lady she uh sapped power from three other princesses <laughs> and has all their magic power, and she has a full on like ten minute duel with Satan. <laughs> so, but here you could be watching The Bachelor. <laughs> right. <laughs> what? Like um, an adult. <laughs> that's all right. Um, that's funny. I there was something that Hirosashi said, and it was uh, gonna make me want to say something, and I uh, I, for, I forgot. Who knew? Well, maybe it come back to you. Um, Rosie good, Diamond though. asks opinions on Johnny Johnny. <laughs> I hate oh. it so much. I really <laughs> do. <laughs> it's so obnoxious. Yeah. I had done such a good job of not seeing any of that yeah. until someone decided to make a video and was like, let me show you my video for this week. Well, yeah. hard. I did not laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I laughed at your jokes, but I didn't Thank laugh you. at the the actual thing. Johnny Johnny is derivative bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's something about people saying things that sound stupid because I hated the do- the whole Doge thing with people like Heckin Sniffer or what I don't know what the hell they said some stupid <laughs> shit like that and people are like telling lies I'm like no one talks <laughs> like that it's stupid it sounds stupid I hate it <laughs> <laughs> so yeah uh, Jeffrey has no idea about this so I'm gonna have to show it to him. What? Johnny Johnny? Oh, I no. Is that the um? It's the giant. It's the baby. giant. It's it's uh no. What is it? Um, 
It looks like that baby from the movie. Yeah, from uh, Boss Baby. Boss, Boss baby. baby. Yeah. It's Boss Baby. And the cartoon. they like sing a song about like telling lies and shit. Don't tell lies, you no, do your no, thing. That's not like. Dig, the... dig, 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 dig. I know. Uh, by the way, I remembered what I was gonna ask. Yes. Since since everyone else brought up Gilligan's <laughs> Island, spoiler alert. But do they actually get off the island on the last episode? Because if they don't, that's like. Bullshit. Whoa, I'm watching it. Spoilers, for real. I, <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Not a clue. I mean, that's I something like that's I could Google. A quick Google search could solve. A coo- right. <laughs> Let's Google it. Does, I, I like, this is important. Does Gilligan get off the island? <laughs> o- only Gilligan. No, none of the other characters. There are other characters? Get off the island. Yeah. <laughs> I must have misspelled this, because I'm sure this is... Oh, I, I put does Gilligan. Wait. Uh, the original Gilligan's Island series ran on CBS, blah, blah, blah. Gilligan and company were still marooned. Yeah. Oh, wait, but at the end of the 1967 run, they were still marooned. It took 11 more years, and they made a, uh, and the made for TV reunion film Rescue from Gilligan's Island before they finally made it off the island. So they finally made it off only 11 years after the actual show um, ended. They The cast is like, hey! <laughs> We're still here. <laughs> Please. <laughs> they just left the cast there yeah. <laughs> on a real island. Yeah. <laughs> this, this sucks. Uh, by the way, I just wanted to again thank Ross Pitt for uh, uh, his super chat. his donation Please and helping thank you very much. the semi perfect again. Um, if you'd like to submit a super chat, we will get to your question and embellish upon it. Even if it's just a question mark, we'll make something work with it. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. That being said, Sarah, I broke it. You're on the wrong thing. I broke it. You're on the wrong tab. There oh, I unbroke right. it. There so, so again, we'll be going for about the next, uh, 20 minutes, yeah. uh, with Q and A. Um, blah, blah, blah. uh, um, I'll, I'll, I'm going to pass on that one. Cause I don't exactly know. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Here we go. If this is true, this is good. Waddles is asking, thoughts on Lionsgate is still an unnecessary sequel to Norm of the North while the trailer is out? <laughs> um, yeah, it's like a straight DVD though. thing. Um, oh, so there's a sequel for Norm of the North? Is that what the question is? Yeah. Okay. It's like a straight to DVD thing. It's actually like Norm of the North 2 and 3, like straight to DVD. <laughs> Is it is it basically just like a Coca Cola commercial, like with the Coca Cola bear? No, no, it's 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 oh, it's bad. It's really bad. Is it's it? It's like the worst animated th- thing I've ever seen in theaters. Uh, what made it bad though? Like, was it like, what made it bad? Oh, um, everything. <laughs> like the animation, the stupid story, the annoying characters. Like, so much of it is bad. All the jokes are bad. <laughs> Just everything's bad. Everything's bad. Oh, mm. uh, that's that's bad. Yeah, it it really <laughs> looked because like it looks like it should never have been uh, in theaters at all. Yeah, like it's it's when you look at the trailers, like this doesn't look like it should be in theaters. Mm-hmm. <laughs> at least for like something that came out in twenty sixteen. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Um. Uh, da, 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 da. Nora Mermaid has a question for Laura. Huh? That's you. That's you. What is the craziest color you've dyed your hair? Mm, well, I've done like multiple colors at once. So, like, the most I've ever done is like, um, around like late last year. I had like the half shaved sort of thing going on, mm-hmm. and it was um, the side that had the like more hair on it was like a blend of purple, blue, and pink. Yeah. Hmm. Crazy. Crazy. Sarah, what's Super the craziest crazy. color you've ever dyed your hair? Uh, uh invisible. In- I'm... Invisible. <laughs> <laughs> I've never dyed my hair. <laughs> Saber dyed his hair. I did. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And then everybody called you Markiplier. And then he shaved it off. And then everybody oh, called you Vsauce. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Saber from Vsauce. 
Uh, it's so funny. Um, is No Way to North 2 going to be... Uh, is it? Is it English? Yeah. Oh, shit. I'm going to have to review that this Christmas. Um, <laughs> why ruin really your Christmas? Be, uh, um, what's that? I said, why ruin your Christmas? <laughs> right? There's a there's a movie that I, I discovered a few months ago. I'm going to make a video about it here like next week. And it's called... Um, yeah, sorry. Here's the first habit. It's called um, Sir Billy. And it's this really shitty animated movie that was, um, it stars Sean Connery. And it's so bizarre because, like, it, it, it's like, because Sean Connery, like, after James Bond, he never really had much of a hit. Like, he was an Academy Award winner and he, you know, made a, a ton of money and was one of the sexiest men alive, you know, or voted for that, like, on, like, some kind of, like, top you know the who's gq GQ, yeah 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 and and then like he just kind of fell apart after a while and uh and like he passed up on what was it lord of the rings to be gandalf he passed up on uh sean connery was almost gandalf yeah (laughs) he he passed up on the matrix because he didn't under the, he never understood the script, so it's like he passed all these big roles. Hobbit. But then he picked up for like the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, which failed, and then like he retired, and then he came out of retirement to do this movie called Sir Billy, which is also called Guardians of the Highlands, which came out around the same time as uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, and they used the same font to try to steal viewers. Uh, so it's about this 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 guy who's like I have to it's Sean Connery basically as an animated character and he wears a kilt and he's like living in Scotland protecting like animals from like this evil police officer and the weird part is it's very, it's like very uh like that they definitely put James Bond stuff where it's like yeah this is Sean Connery he's James Bond and like you're like oh it's a kids movie but then you realize like they're putting all this James Bond shit in there mm-hmm. that doesn't belong like the beginning of the of the animated movie has like girl silhouettes like dancing around uh <laughs> like like a james bond intro yeah. where it's like the, with the lady singing you know he is that man and it's about you know it's about billy and you see all these like really like ugly looking girls dance <laughs> <laughs> and then you see you see billy in his in his kilt do a fucking kickflip on a skateboard in what? the background and it's like what the fuck is this <laughs> So I'm excited to see to to watch it all. It's it's you know terror. Should be a good one. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh boy. <laughs> all right. Let's see. Nikki D wants to know if you were to somehow. It's weird. They put parentheses Some, somehow. As if it's not possible. It's possible. Become a rapper. What would your rap name be? I think there's like a in there like a thing. rap name generator. Rap name generator. Sorry well, I already technique. know mine because it was given to me. Oh, What's yeah? yours? Whoa. Paleo <laughs> on the trigger steno. What? Paleo <laughs> brother on the trigger whatever. Yeah. Yeah, it was from that one like intro for Brony Breakdown that somebody made. Do you remember that, Saber? <laughs> you Hell yo, brother, with a finger on the trigger steno. I love it. I love it yeah. so much. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. This is such, like, this is so in-depth. So Sarah's, yeah. Sarah's right now. Is that how you spell burglar? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember You're such a nerd. There's an burglars okay. already taken. Okay. Um, so no, so it's rapper name generator. It asks questions. Okay. Your favorite asks, TV character. Yeah. So I'm gonna do this for each of us. I want to do this for each of us. So Sarah's typing Sarah's in her stuff. Flexic Felix. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, let's let's see let's uh, see what it is, and I'm gonna put in this information for you guys. So then, uh, you will be able to. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Okay, so I filled out all of my things. Optional. Oh, wait. Okay, never mind. Write me some rapper names. All right. What's the first one? G. <laughs> J-E-E. No, no, no. I think this is your rapper name. Wait. 
Sarcastic SG. That is totally my rapper name. Sarcastic SG. <laughs> Not Inspector Bad. No. What about Felix Helix? <laughs> Sarah Para. No, I like Sarcastic SG. Cool OG. <laughs> cool OG. SG. The real Sarah. S A R A. Alright, alright, I'm gonna do this now. I'm gonna I'm gonna find out my name. Okay. Do I go back here? Yeah. Alright. It's asking me my favorite so think of your answers for this. My favorite T V character. Oh um, Judy. Just say Judy. I I put a movie character in mind. You're right. First what's oh, my real life first chicken. name? Yeah. And I don't know what this one is. <laughs> Name of Name a criminal. criminal. I put the hamburger. Bellwether. <laughs> Something really pleasant. Bunnies. <laughs> An adjective to describe you or your music. Uh, funny. Name of your favorite childhood pet. I only had one. Strider. All right. Uh, his pet's name, name was Strider? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> B. E S T Kulo Best. We're Jeftastic J B. Oh <laughs> Best with a number sign. Moody Judy! That's my rapper name. That's not a number sign, that's a money sign. Moody Judy. Tots Bellweather. Funny face Jeff. Jeffa Jeffa B. Abs funny. Jeff Donna? Bunny's Bellweather. Jeff Clef. Japper Judy. Oh, no, Jeff, uh, what? Jeff Broody Clef. Judy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like this one. Best Manifest. Yeah. Alright, have you guys been doing this or do I need to put it in for you? <laughs> yeah, we had a bunch of time characters' names. I have not. I can do it myself. Here, let's though. link it in the chat. For yeah, me. we're gonna we're gonna link it right now. Show face okay. Laura. Uh all right, put in, put in yours. I gotta know these. Uh, just about ten minutes left in the podcast, people. Again, if uh, if you'd like to prioritize your question, we'll get to it on the super chat. Otherwise, we'll kind of randomly pick off of Twitter like we've been doing here. Um, uh, I, so I want to hear what everyone else's ones are. You, I know you guys are. Are you guys putting in your answers? Oh, do you wanna? I'll start typing them out. What is something that is really pleasant? I don't know. <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> like nothing. Sarcastic SG. What? How, do you want me to just start typing out all of the names that I got? Choose like your, your no, just three your or four favorites. Yeah. Okay, see, so and help me pick the ones that are the best. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I got a good one. Yeah. I'm gonna do this really long one that makes no sense. <laughs> I, I'm excited to hear whatever Paleo's is here. <laughs> the second one I got was Fapper Finn. <laughs> oh my god. God damn it, Paleo. <laughs> you, can, you can't it's escape. Perfect. Fapper the Rapper <laughs> Pin. I don't know where Fapper came from at all. Oh, I'm oh we do. <laughs> Uh, oh god. Okay, okay so Laura's is W that. I S H I R T. I think it's spelling out my last name is what it is. <laughs> That's so long. It's, it's like Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Uh does Saber have one? I, I, I'm gonna skip. He hasn't done it oh, yet. Oh okay. He's gonna, no, he's not. No, he's I'm gonna, gonna funny make him do skip. this. Uh, I'm gonna generate his. Okay. What's his favorite TV character? Um. Uh. Uh. Um, Rarity. Moses. <laughs> Moses. Moses. Yes. Oh my God, he's gonna get the <laughs> ultimate Christian rapper name. Now. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, I'm almost God. done. My rap, my rap Fapper. Fapper Finn. What's your name, Hero? It's just A F. <laughs> AF. What would be uh, uh, name Saber? Of... Name a criminal from one of the th movies you watched. Hitler. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> I put. So I put in... Is he? Uh... Okay. We're something not, pleasant, not. Saber. Think of something pleasant, and then you can fly. Um. What? My I little pony. Ah. Uh, 
No, but you're making shit up for me. This isn't gonna work. <laughs> no, I'm being genuine for Put you. Put Lammy. Lammy. Lammy's oh, pleasant. Yeah, That's yeah, a good yeah. answer. Oh, go. I like this describe one. Describe your music. Inspect the house. <laughs> Inspect the house. <laughs> Put in oh my god. <laughs> there you go. And then favorite childhood pet. Oh my god, Lammy. Again. Oh wait. Just put Lammy. We'll put Lammy right. twice. Uh, yeah, we'll do it yeah, twice. We'll do Maybe twice. his name will be Lammy Lammy. That's some net rapper. Yes. Names. All right, Saber's rapper name. Oh my god, here is <laughs> Saber Sparks' rapper name, Lammy Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> There's also Mapper to Moses, Moses Moses oh, Moo. What a what a Moses way to biosis. What a way to debut this show on my show. Oh, we've got a super chat from Reckless Race. Since you took Toodles out to a low budget event recently, would you consider giving her a go in your low budget car? Oh, okay, Reckless. This is a good question here. Um, so as some people may know. Uh, with the low budgets, um, and again, Reckless, thank you for contributing. Um, the um, so Saber Spark actually has driven mm -hmm. in a low budgets car. He did a demolition derby. Um, I give him all the props because he went in there ready to go. Also rode with me yeah. in a uh, in an enduro. Yeah. So. Um, so I think this question is assuming that I want to get into a car, which is assuming wrong. I've gotten into a car <laughs> once, and that's good enough for me. I've been in a car, it was in a chain race, and it was the most stressful, <laughs> like, five to ten minutes of my life. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm good, thanks. No, this is, this is okay. So for people that, that need to understand, i got to put this in perspective. Sarah here, <laughs> I've asked her before, do you want to drive a car? You know, race um you know or or do skid demolition plate stuff derby. or demolition derby he's always trying to get me into a derby I'm always like, no thanks and and she's like no 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 i don't want to have that much responsibility yeah to which so she doesn't want to do any of the stuff where she would have she would have control of the brakes the gas and the steering <laughs> wheel no what does she agree to do with me a figure eight chain race of which has two cars chained together. He's the front car <laughs> and I'm the back. Car. And I'm the one driving the front car, <laughs> which means I'm going through a figure eight and cars are coming straight at me and I'm like, oh, I'm barely going to make it. What does that mean for the car that's <laughs> 10 feet behind me on the chain, Sarah? Is she... I. Of all the things for Sarah to agree to do, this should have been the last thing yeah. for Sarah to be like, oh, I want to ride in the rear of a figure eight chain race. Yeah. These cars roll over from time to time. And Sarah's like, I'll do that one. <laughs> I didn't know what I was getting myself into, I don't think. So she gets in behind the wheel, and here's the best part, is Panama Matt's not here tonight, which yeah. means we get a really... this Actually, the story gets better talking about Matt. So Sarah and Matt both decide that they're going to do this chain race and this is on the low budgets um they decide that they're going to do one together matt god bless his soul decides to get into tommy's rear chain race car sarah's with me throughout the entire event while i was driving i kept looking back at sarah and every time i did <laughs> she's giving me thumbs up yeah. everything's good <laughs> she's wheeling and dealing yeah it's not till after the race I get out, I look at the front end of her car and go, how did you break the axle on the left front of this thing? And apparently I drove her into one of the tractor tires yeah. and she was still giving me thumbs up. <laughs> if you watch the replay on this, yeah. there's a clip of her literally flying out of her seat, holding onto the wheel and ending up in the passenger seat no. only to bounce back into the driver's seat. I think that's an exaggeration. It's not. Okay. It's not. <laughs> and um, so so here's the beauty. We finished third place. We have a trophy. Yeah. Tommy and Matt never finished. <laughs> and there's a reason. Because on the second lap of the race, <laughs> Tommy's known to go crazy in these events. And I guess Matt didn't realize this. Panama Matt and his car go head on 
straight into a tractor tire. Oh no. And and of this point he realizes that he fucked up. Yeah. Uh, Matt is um, a tall man in stature. And, and he got into the shortest car, <laughs> yeah. which means his head was, like, up against the roof. So when he <laughs> drove into this thing, like, his whole body was like, what the hell are you doing to me? Yeah. And, he, he hit his head pretty hard on And And he, at roof. this point, the car he's driving is small, it's short, and he's tall, and it doesn't have a windshield. Everybody <laughs> at Irwindale Speedway that night saw Matt proceed to literally hang out the front end of this car, <laughs> waving his arms, going, God damn it, Tommy, stop! Stop! <laughs> and Tommy's just thinking, Matt's pulling oh every God. brake. He's pulling every brake pedal. He's yanking the e-brake. And Tommy's not stopping. He's thinking, like, come on, we could do this. Smoking up, blowing his motor, and Matt is hanging out of the front end of the car, going, Stop! <laughs> <laughs> it was... One of the most amazing things I've ever edited for the low budgets. Yeah, yeah it's uh it's on the low budgets channel. It what I was just I was just saying it's just that. Yeah, no, yeah. check it out. It I forget what year it was in or what season, but uh, I, is <sighs> it like it probably the last chain race, isn't it? It, yeah, in fact, actually, if you look at Blow Budget's chain race, it's it's, it's the only chain race. Find it, yeah. It's literally it's the, the only, only chain, chain race, race we've ever done. Yeah, um, the first and last. <laughs> poor Matt, man. Poor uh, Matt. Well, we're gonna let's let's hit up one last question. Okay. And then uh, and then we're gonna we're gonna call it there. Um, do do do. Am I on the right you, thing? No, you're not on the right thing. You always mess this up. You mess it up. No, you mess it up. Um, do do do. I'm I'm finding the question to finish off the thing. Hmm. Do, do, do. Searching for the diamonds in the rock. And again, if we don't get to your question, thank you for submitting. And uh, we will get... Uh, go ahead and feel free to send us the question uh, next time. And uh, if you use super chats, of course, we will get to those questions for sure, no matter what. Is that? Mm. Is this the worst limerick ever? Maybe. I'm still on that generator site from the rapper <laughs> name, and it's a poem generator. I was like, generate me a limerick. It's the worst limerick I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Sunlestia is asking, how did all the members of the Semi Perfect Podcast meet each other? So I guess I guess we could do it by like how sequential right now. I don't know. Yeah. Like Apparently. Sarah and I met on the Acorn Cafe. Yeah. And through me, Sarah met everybody else. Yeah. Um Sarah and I the Acorn Cafe is Chippendale Rescue Ranger website. Yep. And then I proceeded to meet everybody else through various random ways. Yeah. Uh Saber I contacted on YouTube, I messaged him saying, What song did you use in this video? And mm -hmm. he was nice and answered me. Um, how did I meet you, Hero? Uh, uh, what, probably some Skype call. Yeah. I think, yeah. Yeah, probably. Yeah, it sounds about right. First place we would have met would have been BronyCon in person, but we knew each other before yeah, that. Yeah, but I knew it before, yeah. yeah. So, uh, Skype call. Paleo I met uh, at Everfree Northwest. He was with Saber, and, and mm -hmm. they interviewed me, and I was late. Uh, I met Laura at BronyCon before Saber and Laura were together. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's true. Yep. I was I was mesmerized by her wings. <laughs> I was like, those are very we big wings. Some Zootopia thing and <laughs> try and get to the vendor hall. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Um, um, how did you meet everyone? Well, through you. Yay. <laughs> Basically. How did Paleo uh, meet Saber? Oh. That's the one uh, we was. both made a big video about ponies, and I messaged him after I saw his, because I didn't want to look at anybody else's mm -hmm. uh, before I made mine. So I, I then I watched his, and I messaged him. I said, hey, you want to talk on Skype? And then we talked, and then we hit it off. Nice. I initially <laughs> hated Paleo. <laughs> <laughs> initially. Still do. Still do. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I remember uh, being like, who's this upstart guy I think he can make pony videos about? Oh, hey, how's it going? <laughs> and uh, we became friends. That's true friendship right there. <laughs> yeah. 
It really is. Yeah, and I met um, I met Hirasashi at a uh, an NC Bronies meetup. Don't talk about it. <laughs> okay, now you have to. <laughs> No, no, and, oh, there really isn't anything. It's just and we, we started talking about uh, about anime. Oh, uh, we, uh, I, excuse me, I started talking about anime. You said, okay, and uh-huh. And, uh. <laughs> Every conversation with Paleo. You, you, because I remember you brought up like Elf and Lead. I was like, oh, I like that one. <laughs> yes, there you go. You just have to pick up the right topic with Paleo. And he'll be like, oh yeah, okay, yeah, I can engage on that, yeah. But yeah, I, I remember because like, I, I said something to you because I was like, oh, it's the guy who made the big video. And I was yeah. like, oh, yeah, really, you made the big video. He's like, oh, yeah. And that was it. I was like, what the hell? Talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very quiet first. <laughs> yes. And then we talked about Ultimate League. <clears throat> um, awesome. I love it. I saw I saw this mentioned in the chat by Quiet Storm. Uh, is it says check out the semi perfect podcast Twitter for the chain race. Uh, actually, we can link it on the semi perfect podcast. So we'll we'll go ahead and link that on our Twitter, uh, which is at uh, at semi perfect pod. And uh, yeah, we'll we'll go ahead and link that. Oh yeah, I have a screen for this video. Um, I have a screen for this. Uh, screen for so what? Oh, find us on Twitter. There it Chat is. Partially covering it. But. So yeah. So thank you all for <laughs> joining us here on our uh, first YouTube uh, Semi Perfect podcast. This is where we're gonna be from this point forward. Uh, Sarah, I'd like to uh, give you a round of applause for setting this whole thing up. Woo! Thanks. Yeah. yeah, I mean, she literally has been like the last week. She's been just sitting on this computer, and I'm like, I'm helping while I'm over there eating my Cheerios and watching, watching Barney. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't judge me. Yeah. Thank you. Mm. So with that, uh, thank you all for our live audience. For anyone that watches on delay, by the way, a reminder that all the uh, all of the podcasts will still be posted on the Semi Perfect Podcast. YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. Yes. All, All those right. recordings will still be uploaded there. Yep. Instead of here. So with that, thank you for watching. Thank you for, uh, of course, all of our super chat uh, you so contributors. You, you help uh, make this show better. Here, let me read them out. Uh, Drummer Shy, Ross Pitt, David 3X, Ross Pitt again, and then Reckless. Thank you all so much Very for cool. your super chat. Yeah, we, we love you guys. It. Thank you, of course. Thanks to our podcasters for taking their time out of their evenings to join us on the Semi Perfect Podcast. And with that, we will be back in two weeks. That is September 19th, 2018. Ooh. It'll be a Wednesday. It'll be a night. And it'll be at 6 p.m. Pacific time. Good night, everybody. We'll see you next time on the Semi Perfect Podcast. Dem ponies. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye.